Rom Telecom a evoluat spectaculos în ultimii trei ani. De la simpla telefonie fixă, la internet de bandă largă și conținut multimedia, televiziune digitală și în curând oferte convergente fix mobil cu cosmote, conform lui Iorgos Ioanidis, CEO Rom Telecom. Rom Telecom is changing together with Romania. Rom Telecom is changing in the last six, seven years, day after day and uh, month after month. As of 1999, Rom Telecom has invested over 1.5 billion euros and in the last year only 200 million euros. We're planning to invest more than half a billion for the next generation networks that we're building. A month ago, we have agreed with our major supplier, Cisco, to build the most robust core IP network in uh, uh, the central and eastern European uh, part of uh, the world. Today, Rom Telecom has started to implement a project of introducing 14 routers, which are called CRSs, in the whole region. There are only three. We are installing 14, and we believe that this will be the core of uh, the digital highway on which all the access uh, content which will which will need to communicate from place to place will have to go through la standul de la Romexpo, Orange România a făcut prima sa demonstrație a tehnologiei HSDPA, care permite accesul mobil la internet la viteze de 3,6 Mbps pe secundă. Până la sfârșitul anului, Orange va crește vitezele HSDPA la 7,2 Mbps pe secundă la descărcare și la 1,5 Mbps pe secundă la uplink. Richard Maut, CEO Orange România, a mai anunțat că operatorul va implementa o rețea WiMAX la scară largă, cu acoperire în 20 de orașe până la sfârșitul anului. Serviciile WiMAX sunt oferite de Orange exclusiv pentru segmentul de business. And uh, Donald Georgescu talked about his disappointment at the fact that uh, penetration was only 80% in Romania. Well, I think that it's going to move on strongly this year to very close to 90% by the end of the year and probably 100% by the end of 2008. So I don't think it will be long before we have caught up with our near neighbors in terms of penetration. Orange has invested 1.2 billion euros in its networks to date in this country over the last 10 years and we're investing a further 200 million euros in 2007. And by the end of this year we forecast that we're going to have 9 million customers or more and we expect to turn over well over 1.1 billion euros. Compania Vodafone România a făcut la rândul său o prima demonstrație a vitezelor de date mobile de 3,6 Mbps pe secundă prin tehnologia HSDPA în prima zi de surf. Astăzi suntem gata să lansăm serviciile de 3,6 Mbps pe secundă. Ne bucurăm să fim a cincea operațiune uh, în Vodafone venind după lume grele, precum Germania, Italia uh, și Spania. Ceea ce vreau să vă arăt este modul în care baza noastră de utilizator de servicii 3G și 3G Broadband, cum a evoluat ea în cei 2 ani de când am lansat serviciile 3G. Roșu este momentul lansării HSTP 1.8, iar mai va fi momentul lansării 3.6. Categoric o pasă profund crescătoare care ne încurajează în tot ceea ce facem în acest domeniu. Ceea ce înseamnă, de fapt, pentru utilizator această viteză este iarăși un confort, o experiență deosebită. Un fișier de un mega ajungând astfel să fie downloadat în ceva, într-un interval de timp între 7 și 10 secunde. Este absolut uh, nemaipomenit. Vodafone a mai anunțat la SERF că își va lansa propria numerotație fixă, exclusiv pentru clienții soluțiilor sale integrate de comunicații, însemnând aproximativ 6.000 de companii. Liliana Solomon, CEO Vodafone România, a declarat că prin introducerea propriilor numere fixe, Vodafone urmărește să devină un furnizor de comunicații complete pentru clienții din mediul de afaceri. Cosmote România a prezentat la SERF avampremiera lansării tehnologiei de internet mobil iMode, rivalul de succes al vechiului WAP european. Tehnologia iMode a fost dezvoltată în Japonia de operatorul mobil NTNT Docomo și exportată în alte 15 țări, inclusiv din Europa, odată cu un model de parteneriate foarte strânse cu producătorii de terminale. Acestora, operatorul le specifică din start exact ce meniuri și ce butoane să pună în telefoane. În oferta de conținut pentru iMode, Cosmote România a anunțat parteneriate cu furnizori de aplicații și de conținut ca Gameloft, CNN și Ziarul Financiar. 
Last year was my first time basically representing a small company. We were around 200,000 subscribers. This year we are talking about over 2 million. Last year we were in network targets around 80, around there. This year we are talking over 95% coverage and growing by the day. Last year I presented you a little bit of what we've done in the six months from December 2005 and the small revolution we introduced in March 2006. And also I gave you a promise what things will come in the future. Well, today I'm ready to announce that Cosmote is printing the iMode service to Romania. iMode is basically the true mobile internet technology in the world today. It also has a very win model, business model, where everybody involved in this chain of developing uh, a service, being a developer, an operator, a content provider, and a customer, everybody is winning. This evening is an opportunity to talk about uh, the launch of uh, our voice over IP product, which uh, I think you know it shows um, how Zap uh, continues actually and to focus on innovation, bringing basically new products to the market, uh, new products which uh, no other mobile operator in Romania uh, has at the moment, and even in uh, in other uh, in other countries, uh, and products which uh, um, are important because uh, basically they provide. Uh, significant value to the customer. Mm -hmm. uh, this VoIP product is the first uh, uh, voice over IP product uh, which allows basically a mobile, oper a, a mobile customers to be uh, reachable from maybe a uh, soft phone, whether run uh, out of a PC or a laptop. Mm -hmm. And you know, for a very moderate fee, it allows uh, communication actually between people in Romania and in other countries, which in some cases uh, can be very expensive. And that's why you know we, we believe you know it is something that you know we wanted to flag with uh, with all the journalists uh, and as well you know with uh, with you know the market. Uh, besides this, uh, tonight you know I really, you know emphasize again uh, the fact that uh, Zap is uh, committed to the deployment of our 3G network. We are going to stick to the deadline of June 2008 for launching. Uh, a network which uh, will enable uh, the provision of uh, much more competitive services in terms of uh, coverage, in terms of uh, speed, uh, quality of service and prices as well. So these are actually, VoIP is uh, not, let's say, as of now, a mass market product, but you know, the 3G will uh, strengthen uh, our positioning as uh, an operator which is addressing not only the business community, but as well uh, the mass market. It was... Uh some uh, rumors on the market mm -hmm. about uh, you could uh, sell the 3G license for the other operators. Uh, there is Cosmo, no, I suppose. No, there is no such plan. Uh, actually, the 3G license is something that we've been uh, uh, very actively pursuing and we are very excited about the fact that we won the license and it is something that we did not for speculative reasons. Uh, but because we believe it is crucial for uh, the future of the company. So in 2008, really, we count on uh, the deployment of the 3G network to come in you know, really with uh, more competitive products. So there is no intention to share it or sell it to, to other operators. What is the message for the, your competition? Well, you know, Zap will be uh, coming back, you know, strongly next year. Uh, we've been, you know, not very present in the last few months, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, especially with the 3G rollout, uh, we'll, uh, you know, we'll come back with uh, more products, both on the voice side and especially on the data side.